So now that we've built an online portfolio using Adobe Portfolio, I thought I would also talk about Behance.com. Behance is owned by Adobe, but this, what's great about Behance is it's absolutely free to sign up for an account. It's basically a social media site for creative freelancers and other creatives, not just freelancers, but anybody in the creative business and any type of creative business. So photography, web design, graphic design, illustration, even copywriting, all, all sorts of things are represented here. If you're a creative freelancer, you have to be on Behance. I've noticed a lot of uh, people getting jobs, some students getting jobs through Behance by just posting some strong work and it was shared and it was featured and they happened to get a job because a potential client saw that work, saw that it was featured and they contacted them. So it's a great way to kind of find work. Um, it's going to take a while to get to that point. You have to have an incredibly amazing project to really kind of stand out from the crowd because it's a very overcrowded space. There's a lot of creative freelancers on here vying for the attention of ad agencies and other clients who might be kind of looking for talent here. Um, so it's so don't expect to just <laughs> get jobs falling from the sky, but at least it's a first step because having a profile on here is better than not. And it doesn't take a lot of time to set up. So we're going to just go through the very basics of getting it set up. And if you're already familiar with the Adobe portfolio, which we just kind of, I just did a little sample overview of that in the last few lessons, then you'll be right at home because it's the very same builder to build out your projects. So here is your portfolio or your profile, I guess I should say, on Behance. Make sure you have, if you have your website, this is why having the website is so important. We're all also going to be doing a WordPress, kind of reviewing that and a few other website options. But go ahead and get that website. You're going to be posting it everywhere when we do our marketing, when we do our social media campaigns. So you're going to need to have that. So you can go ahead and list as many projects as you want. Of course, less is more, but this is kind of more of a social media account. So as you come up with new projects and client work, you know, post this as you continually get more projects because it's only going to give you more exposure. And when you post, we'll go over this in a little bit. When you post a new project, you can put in certain tags and terms search terms in there. So if someone searches letterhead design or someone searches product photography, um, you'll have those tags as a part of your project and you have a chance to be shown in the search results. So we'll go over how to properly do that soon. So yeah, you're going to be able to put your title. So make sure you have kind of a, a title developed for yourself. And also that bio is going to come in handy, of course, when you're doing online uh, profile social media type bios. You may want to tweak it a little bit. You can be a little bit more raw and natural and a little more authentic. You don't have to be so much like you're applying for a job. You can be a little bit more um, friendly and open and honest with your bios for uh, social media. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to go up here to create a new project. And so this will be very similar to, to the last web builder we worked with. You're going to be able to add files, text. You're going to be able to embed uh, YouTube videos or anything that has embed code. And you're also going to be able to create gallery or photo grids. So we're going to build this out just like we would a landing page on a project on a website. So it's going to be very similar. Um, bigger, the better in terms of photos. You really want to show off the visual creative skills you have. So make sure you have big photos that go all the way across the page um, for, the, for the Behance type of items. So Behance projects are a little less focused on the description and a little more focused on those visuals. So this is an example of a really strong post. Um, there's not a lot of text involved in describing the whole project like it would on your personal portfolio. So they're focusing on the images and they're big and they're beautiful, nicely crafted photos here. You can see there's not a lot of words describing each thing because it's pretty obvious what, what we're kind of looking at. Uh, the photos kind of help describe the project. So the easiest thing to do is get all of your project images ready and crafted. So all you have to do is load these in. Uh, so we're going to do just that. I have all these photos ready, all the mockups and everything that I did to create this project. I'm going to go ahead and upload all the files at once, everything in my folder. And it's going to do it in a random order, but that's okay because we're going to be able to reorder our project. So once all those load in, you can go up to any edit of any photo and it'll have a little option that says reorder project. We're going to reorder the project. We can shift these around any way we'd like. We have our, already kind of had that 
as my headline photo or my starter photo and we can order these any way we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save new order and see how it looks. You can see how quick it is to, to kind of create this. You can also add a description, text, anything here if you wanted to kind of have a project header. Of course your project will already have a project name so you can go ahead and describe what your project is using the project name. So you have the chance to kind of put a little buffer there in terms of having some margin or not. You can have it be full screen. So I'm just looking through the order here. I think this is probably uh, very zoomed in. I kind of want to show a little bit more of these two photos side by side. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this project or delete that image. And I'm going to do those side by side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a gallery. I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon right here. And I'm going to upload both of those files. It's going to load them side by side. And what's great about that is um, it's not so zoomed in. I'm able to kind of really see those projects together. So you can also do galleries to do side by side photos. If you feel like a photo is going to be way too zoomed in, you're not going to be able to see the details, especially with photography. Um, that's another way you can do it is putting two side by sides together. And of course, you could do more than two if you wanted to and it just scrolls down. You can also add video as well. You can do an embed. So we can go up here and embed. Here's the embed link. I can copy and paste from YouTube my promo video for this. This is my promo video that I want to also embed in my Behance profile. I think videos go a long way in helping describe projects. Big fan of video, so I'm going to go ahead and embed this. Clicking on the embed option when I go to share. And I'm just going to pop that into here and it's going to embed that video for me. So if we want to include that at the bottom or the beginning of our project, I think video is very, very helpful in selling yourself. Of course, you can edit styles and layout. There's going to be uh, spacing styling. So we're going to go down here and see the spacing between these is almost none, but you can increase it and decrease it. You can also change the background color. So if you want to do black, this is a simple project that does not need descriptions, but you can also add type in here as well if you want to add descriptions. So the most important part about posting a project on Behance is the tags and the descriptions that you put when you post it. So let's go ahead and click on save and we're going to continue. And this is the most vital part of everything. Putting it together is the easy part because we already had those. So project title, you want to use a title that has a lot of keywords that of people that would be searching for your type of creative skills. So if you're a web designer, you might want to put UX UI if that's something that's a part of your project. So I'm going to do logo design and branding project for Pacific Calm. And so I have logo design and branding. So those are some keywords that are already in there. Of course, it does limit you to how many uh, words and letters that you can use. So cover photo, this is what people will see when on the search. So you really need to make this high impact. A lot of times I like to zoom in on small details instead of having a lot of detail. So right about here. Could also be the t-shirt, but I don't feel that really describes the project quite as well. So let's just stick to the water bottle. We can even zoom in if this is a high resolution enough photo. It looks a little blurry when I do that. Zoom in on the golden ratio part of the logo design or just stick right to that. Great, so we have our thing. We can go ahead and crop and continue. So go ahead and add your creative field so I can do branding. I can do graphic design as well. You can select up to three. Okay, done. And tools used, I can, you know, say the software that as more as you, more detail you can provide, the easier uh, searchable your project will be. You can add copyright or licensing. We're going to go over licensing a little bit later in the class, but I usually like to stick with the default unless you have something in mind for that. And let's go ahead and don't forget, this is the tab and you're tempted to click on publish. Don't forget these little tabs up here. Uh, just make sure you kind of work through those tabs as well. It's easy to miss those. And so especially this tab, this is where all those keywords are really going to come in handy. And so it's very easy to miss that tab. So we're going to go ahead and write a good description for this, uh, just as much as they'll allow us to do, because it helps with search for people finding and searching your project when they search for specific keywords. So keywords, think about the keywords for your particular type of project. So I'm going to do branding. 
logo design, logo, marketing, golden ratio, because I use the golden ratio, which is a way to kind of do a logo design. So that's specific to my project. And you can add up to 10, so really maximize all 10 if you can. All right, so when we're done with our keywords, let's go ahead and publish this. This is a real project that I'm posting, so I'm ready to go, uh, go out ready to publish. So it's always a little nerve wracking when you're publishing a project. So you can all share your uh, profile with anybody that you want. And there it is. There's our little quick project we put together on Behance. I'll show you what it looks like on my profile. Of course, I can always move the video and put the video a little bit higher up. This is what it looks like in the profile. You can see how important that cover photo is, trying to keep it as simple as possible. So there we go, continue to add your projects as you get a chance and build that portfolio and be able to send that out to clients, but also be discovered by who knows who.